Hi, this is Jeff from Extreme Nerds, and I bought a new toy right before Christmas. I bought this trailer valet. Um, I did it mainly to move this trailer around because when we back in the trailer, it's easier to leave the trailer in this spot to empty it, but with the back right here, it's not that easy. So I use this thing to turn this around and to move it around the driveway. But it weigh, it'll support the 10,000 pounds, so I can use it for the Airstream too. When I get back, I've used it a few times, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you how I use it, and I'm going to talk about what I like and what I don't like. Okay, as you guys can tell, it's a different day. Snow's down. Um, something happened to the video that I made before. So this is the unit. Um, so the parts of this, it's chain driven. It's a solid, solid wheels. The ball is easily replaceable. And I've got this one, this ball for this trailer, my little trailer. And I've got a two and five sixteenths for the Airstream over here. Now this thing can support 10,000 pounds. Um, do not try to take it down a hill or push it up a hill. Um, you want to you want to try to keep things you know within a reasonable grade. Um, it has two speeds, low speed and high speed. Those are these things. This is the brake. When it's up, you are moving. When it's down, it doesn't break. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't roll. It breaks. So to hook this thing up, you start with the ball. You attach the ball just like you'd hook up your trailer. Then you take the, the piece down here and rotate it. Now there is a tool that they provide to grab hold of it. So you can tighten it up. The plate is there to mimic the bottom of your um, hitch, like on your bumper or on your, your tow hitch that goes in your, in your vehicle. So now that that's on, I have to raise up the trailer a little bit. Yeah, it's not the electric like on the Airstream. drop it back down on there and I lined up those holes so I can put the pin in there but I didn't do a very good job so I'm gonna use this tool oops went past it and then I can put my Trying not to squat down, but I guess I'm gonna have to. Oops. Get in there. There we go. Put your safety pin back in there, so. Then let the weight off. It's as simple as that. Oops. Of course, you need to go backwards from what you were doing before to let the weight off. So since I'm just moving it in the driveway, I'm not gonna take all the weight off. Here. 
I'm going to treat this just like I'm driving it down the road. So they have two methods of moving this thing. You can use the crank handle if you're left-handed, right-handed. Put the crank handle on, release the lock, rotate it. Now this is the slow version. Of course, I need to take the wheel chocks out. That helps a little bit. So, it's unlocked. Now I can rotate it this way. That's the slow speed. And this is the faster speed. Now, the problem is, is one of the things I don't like, and it's not anything that's, that's their fault, is I'm too tall for this thing. So in order for me to do this, I'm like this, and I'm walking backwards or forwards. So I'm not a big fan of the crank. That's why I bought the adapter for my drill. Um, word of advice, I know my drill has the belt clip on here. It'll pinch you. So I wear gloves. put it on the first speed and you basically just drive it like this. Now, like I said, I put that in. Now it'll still pivot because it's on a ball, but it's not rolling anymore. So if you start to get to where you need to do it, you need to change speeds and back it up that way. Put the brake down. Sometimes it's a little tough getting this on. You have to push the little ball in catches and occasionally you start to move it and this is engaged simply do it like this and it catches and it uncatches so it's really pretty easy it's pretty nice catch my breath here to move this trailer around I can't do it by myself I don't want to have to get my pickup truck every time I want to move it five feet or move it to in my garage in here or say I want to move this out to to do the tanks or something after we get back from a trip uh, it's much easier using this little thing than my truck over here um, I like it like I said the only thing that I don't like is it's too short and I wish it was powered but they do have a powered one but I'm not paying that much for it uh, once again this is Jeff from Airstream Nerds I guess I give this thing a thumbs up. It does what it's supposed to do. Um, it's it's kind of fancy, it's cool. You know I like toys. Um, you guys put any comments down below. Um, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you on the next trip. Once again, this is Jeff. And Jenny. And we're the Airstream Nerds. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, put any comments below, and we'll see you on the next trip.